Yeah, I'm feeling like I'm stressed. I don't know why. Don't be a mouth breather, yo. Stop breathing through your mouth. You need to watch this video. Stop it. If you're doing that, stop breathing through your mouth. Stop it. Watch the video. Stop. Have a great day, y'all. Check out the video. So I want to say great Cootie Chocolate to y'all. We about to go and toast it up. Uh, hopefully I will be starting brewing on Ujima. I might push it back just a little bit. I'm doing good. Any day I can get up and I can toast my ancestors, I'm doing real good. All right, so let's get it started. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. I know we gotta start with the water, and my budget won't allow me to go and sample no more water until later on this week, or maybe next week. So, keeping in line with the budget, we are gonna go and drink us some distilled water. Drink your water with me. Come on, y'all know how we do it. I need at least three glasses of this. Would you give me my? 16 ounce jump start on the day. Anybody that's out there right now, if you got any ancestors that you want me to shout out during the toast, go and post them up now. And it don't matter whether they repeats or not because I constantly repeat my own ancestors. You could never remember them too much. You know what I'm saying? So, woo! All right. So we're gonna toast up. Y'all see on my stash is getting very low. When I start using mason jars, I'm I'm I'm, I'm reaching the end of my own my own private supply. So, all right, I'm about to get it. All right, so here we go. All right, I might have to start shipping it out like this. Because it's not as explosive, but it's not quite as sweet. Uh-oh, here we go. All right, we got some. So call on our creator by whatever name you choose. Call it creator. We want to recognize that universal force that touches all of us, um, that connects all of us. We want to toast that energy. We want to toast that power. We want to toast whatever you call it. Um, we salute and we say our shame. We call on our personal ancestors, brother Shaka, throughout 
the oldest Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., um, Aunt Evelyn, and Aunt Charmaine. Are there any others out there? We want to salute our ancestors because they saluted us when we couldn't salute ourselves. They spoke for us when we couldn't speak for ourselves. They stood up for us when we couldn't stand up for ourselves. They fed us when we couldn't feed ourselves. They gave us drink when we couldn't drink for ourselves. So we want to remember them. And we want to raise them up. We want to lift them up. And we want to constantly, constantly, constantly show them respect. We want to show them love. Right? Because you know, I keep having nightmares about our ancestors not being able to help us because they are starving. Right? They're starving because we are not giving them the spiritual energy. We are not giving them the love. It's the bonds of love that our ancestors have with us that empower them. So we want to give our ancestors the power to assist us in our lives. Right? So we want to call on them. Miles Brown, Mazan, Robert the Texan, the Davis, Herman Brown, Senior, Rosalie, Tilly, Georgia, William Walter, Krista, Fanny Ganson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, uh, John Fillard, um, uh, Montague Pimpinel, Jamon Jones, uh, Mama Malika, uh, Aunt Diane, for Brother Shaka, um, I think I said Jamon Jones already. Elder Donaldson, Elder um, er, Elder Harrison, no, it's I think it's Elder Harrison. He used to live down there on Fairwood. I used to go down there and check him out. He crossed my mind the other day. Tony Clark, um, who else? Tony Clark. Uh, I'm missing somebody. So. Um, uh, ancestors, forgive me. It's an accident of the head, not an accident of the heart. Sending love out to our ancestors, we say, Ashe. From there, we move on to this present moment. Today is Kuti Chagalia, another great day. Today, we're going to be talking about the power of the breath. Not only the power of the breath, but how it could change your life and how many of y'all may be breathing wrong. So, y'all want to check me out on YouTube on that one. But, yo, today is Kuti Chagalia. We toasted it up. We say, Ashe. From there, we move to our children, our children's children unto infinity because we toast them now so that one day they may toast us. And we say, Ashe. From there, we toast any special projects that you got going on out there, any entrepreneurial ventures that you got going on out there. If you have any issues on your jobs, you know what I'm saying? We toast that. You know what I'm saying? We toast it. We throw our ancestors out there to come and intercede for you, right? Because that's what they do. That's what they do. It's called ancestral intercessions, right? We want them. We want our ancestors. We want those angels. We want those powers, those powers that be around us, right? Not the powers that be that's in the world, but the powers that be around us to start working for us, right? So we call on them. You know what I'm saying? Because they can't help us if we don't call on them, right? So, we want them to go out before us. We want them to help us solve problems. We want them to put us in situations where we have opportunities to grow, right? Sometimes we don't even recognize them, right? We'd be so mad, we'd be upset, we'd be sad. We can't even recognize the opportunity that's being presented to us, but it's still there. So we toast that and we say, I say, I say, I say. Right? wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Mm. Now, the only way I'm going to keep on toasting for 100 years, I'm going to get some of my young brothers up in here and teach them how to brew. So I ain't going to be able to, I might not, I guess I could keep on making it for 100 years. But I'm going to have Cleve and some of his friends and some of the young um, warriors right now. And I'll do it. So, Facebook, I want to thank y'all for joining me in the morning. Make sure you call, catch the Daily Toast on YouTube. Um, we're going to be talking about the breath. And what's crazy is, y'all, listen, I'm getting some great and powerful information on the breath. So y'all need to check it out. Um, listen, listen, change your life. Because remember I told you. That even if, if you're on that Lose Cyber Challenge, if you're going to have nothing but the water, 
you can't afford the supplements and stuff like that, if you don't have nothing but pure water, pure water and air. I won't even go that far. Pure water and air, right? You get by on some of the food that you might be eating, but good water and, and, and learning how to breathe, right? You change your life. This brother, I tell him, I'm out. All right, YouTube. It's time for us to get a day on. It's Coozy Chocolate. Coozy Chocolate. All right, now, hey. So, first things first, we're going to do our supplements. Come on now. Get your stuff out. You might not be taking what I'm taking, but you're taking something, right? That's taking something. All right, got it. Y'all ready? Now, like I said, we're going to be talking about nasal breathing, right? So now, I'm trying to keep it down to 30 minutes. I'm getting good, right? So we're going to talk about the power of the breath. First off, family, listen. Warrior training is breath training. Anybody that's teaching warriorship, make sure that the people that you are teaching, you are instructing them on the proper ways of breathing. All right? So, for those in the, on the Lusa Saba Challenge, I just found another gift and I sent it out. It is a great book. I found it, and because it's in the public domain, I'm able to send it out. Jumps. Jump start that fat burning in our body. Yesterday, man, I'm, I, I've been doing a warrior, warrior, warrior diet for a couple of weeks. A little bit longer than a couple of weeks. You know, every now and then, I'll let y'all know when I'm about to have me some breakfast or something. Because I just want you know, some breakfast food. But I was famished yesterday. About 5 o'clock, I was famished. I ate my salad. My salad wasn't enough, man. I went... Went around the building, just grabbing up everything I could eat, man. But, you know, sometimes it's like that. Cause some of us be forgetting what hunger feels like, right? You know what I'm saying? And speaking of hunger, we're going to talk about that. Not just with the hunger in the belly, but also hunger of the breath. We're going to really get into, not today, but as we, because this week I want to spend a little bit of time on talking about the breath. All right? I'm talking about how to breathe. The proper, some of the proper breathing techniques, you know what I'm saying? Because those of you in the Gustav Challenge, I sent you the Ashe Breath. You should have two videos on Ashe Breath. If you don't have two videos, you got one, the one, the first part, where I also do exercise, and you got one where it's just focusing on the breath. Better care then, remember that. All right. It's crazy how relaxed I am on just dealing with y'all, right? It's fam, y'all. And I really, I really appreciate y'all taking the time to watch the videos, and I hope that you're getting something out of it. And I'm really appreciating the comments, all right? And um, as as our little community grows, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get better and better. All right. So uh, for those that are new, we took the coconut oil first. We're gonna do some oil letting after. After we get off camera, but that this help help fire up the um, body to burn in some fat. Also, it's antibacterial, antimicrobial. It helps helps your body heal, help jump start the uh, immune system, along with the palm oil, right? The red palm oil. It's got the beta carotene. It's good for the eyes. Also, it's good for the nerves. Um, does a lot of the same stuff. It's a healthy fat, all right? Healthy oil, all right? Now, this one is the world-renowned black seed oil. Black seed oil. They listen, this... They say it's the truth. We're going to find out because we've been... This is our second bottle, right? You know, since our brother Hatim ain't really that messed up. You know, except for when I started taking this, right? Because y'all remember, I was all right till I started taking this, right? Then my ears went off, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about that, too. Because at the same time, <clears throat> I started doing a whole lot of stuff, 
right? So now there is backlash for when you start changing your diet just a little bit and changing your breathing patterns and working out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Your body's gonna detox, right? And I'm thinking that's what happened with my ear over here. It's all right now, right? But your body's gonna detox in some form or fashion. All right, so let's build. Y'all ready to build? All right, so I got my little notes over here so y'all see me peeking over there, right? So now, when we breathe, right? When we breathe, the proper way of breathing, listen, listen. It's through the nose. The pyramid on our face is the proper way to breathe. Now, we're gonna go, we're gonna do a little bit more research on the nose so I can tell y'all exactly, not exactly how it works. I'm gonna give you some street terminology for how it works, right? Right. But anyway, we need to do more breathing through the nose. Stop breathing through the mouth. Right? You can do the exhale when you're blowing out. Exhalation, right? Expiration, right? <sighs> through the mouth. But we need to start breathing through the nose. We're gonna talk about um, some some real short breath exercises this week. We're gonna focus, maybe, uh, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but we're gonna cover the breath because warrior training is breath training. Breathing through the nose, right? So when we breathe through the nose, what happens is the, the air goes through the nose and it got hairs up here, it got moisture up there, humidity up there. It goes through the nose, right? And the air is purified and warmed up, right? It's warmed up and by the time it reaches our larynx, the temperature has almost doubled, right? Or maybe if it's hot, cooled off. But right now we're talking about it's, it warming up. It's, it's trying to bring the air up to the proper temperature before it hits your lungs. So it goes through all this up here. Because you know, because now this is why when you have a problem with your nose, they say you got to go to an ear, nose, and throat specialist. Because all these are connected. All is So when we talk about the nose, we honestly think it's just these two these two holes right here. No, dog. This this whole nasal cavity shit, all this, it's all up in here. So your nose, when your nose is messed up, this is a possibility that your ears is messed up and your throat is messed up. So all of this is nasal, right? So the air goes up through here and it flows all throughout the nasal cavity. And through that process, it is purified, right? It's purified humidified and warmed up and also there's a chemical that's added to it and we're going to talk about this chemical it's and i and oh I, I need to apologize to you i said it was nitrous oxide it's not night it's nitrate it's nit nitrous oxide right and we'll talk a little bit about that and the power of that because that right there do change your life but anyway we breathe it through so it's warmed up it's humidified um, and it's purified, and then there's a little something added to it, only that that comes from the from the whole nose thing, and then it flows down through the larynx. It goes through the larynx, right, into the bronchial tube, and then it separates. You got the two bronchial bronchial tubes, and then it goes down into the um, bronchi, right, and then it's like, cause so so now when we look at it, it looks like. Your lungs look like an upside down tree. So you got the larynx and somebody was to come and just pull this up out of me, right? Right? My lungs would be, it'd be hanging down like a tree, right? And the tree has branches, which is called um, um, bron um, bronchi and then bronchies. And then, I mean, it's like little small things. So it's like leaves, right? And at those leaves, that's where the air goes so that it could be picked up by the blood all right now so your blood is getting this oxygen right but now let's talk about the importance of nose breathing all right because i'm finding out some stuff about nose breathing yo family listen stop breathing through your mouth even when you sleep 
right? And we're going to talk about some ways to stop breathing through the mouth while you sleep. But you need to practice breathing through your nose, right? The benefits are uh, monumental. The benefits are incredible. Stop breathing through your nose, through your mouth, and start breathing through the nose, right? All right, so now, also within the nose, we're going to talk about, well, because a lot of people are on the alkaline acid thing, right? So when something is acidic, it's 6.8 and below. When something is alkaline, it's 7.8 and above, right? We have it in between there, like a 7.3, right? Healthy. Right, because at 6.8, acidic cells start to die. 7.8, two alkaline cells start to die. So those that are talking about being super alkaline. Now, the reason a lot of people are stressing getting more alkaline because in our diets with all this processed food, we are very acidic, right? But we, we want to bring it back into balance. We don't want to go too far the other way because, like I said, we are people of my eye. Remember, mind is truth, justice, righteousness, right? It's truth, truth, justice, righteousness, reciprocity, balance, order, and harmony. One of the key pieces and key symbols of my art is balance. So we got to find a way to balance it out. All right. So now, let's look at some of the benefits of nose breathing. All right. This is from a site called LifeSpot. You can look it up. Um, article by John Dillard, 15 Benefits of Nose Breathing breathing. Um, the importance of regular exercise incorporated into a healthy lifestyle and diet cannot be stressed enough in our quest for optimal health and longevity, right? So that's why we start talking about working out, um, doing our breath exercises, taking our supplements, right? Um, but let's get to it. Nose breathing. Nose breathing drives oxygen more efficiently into the lower lobes of the lungs rather than staying in the upper lobes. So, what? Look, y'all need to see, right? Now, I gotta sit up a little bit. When you breathe through your nose, you could do it. You could do this experiment yourself. You put your hand on your chest and your hand on your belly. When you breathe through your nose, the lower belly automatically moves. When you breathe through your mouth. Wait a minute. See, the higher part of your chest moves. When you breathe through your nose, I don't know if you can see the lower hand, but the lower hand moves more than the upper hand. When you breathe through the mouth, I'm killing myself doing that. Right? When you breathe through your mouth, the upper part of your chest. So when you breathe, when you breathe through the nose, it gets oxygen to the lower parts of your lungs, right? Lower lobes of your lungs rather than staying in the upper lobes as with mouth breathing. With nose breathing, all five lobes of the lungs are used to breathe rather than just, just the two upper. So when you breathe through the mouth, you're only using this part. You're only using this part of your chest. You're only using this part of your lungs. A lot of your lungs is down here. Most of your lungs is down here. You got two parts of your lung up here. The other three is down here. There's five parts of the lung. With no breathing, all five lobes of the lungs are used to breathe rather than just the upper two. The lower lobes of the lungs have more parasympathetic, calming, and repairing nerve receptors, which are active during nose breathing exercise. The upper lobes have more sympathetic fight or flight stress receptors that are activated during mouth breathing exercise. So when we breathe into our mouth, we're staying in a fight or flight mind state, right? We are we are feeding, we are feeding the lower part of our nature, fight or flight. When we breathe through the nose, when when we breathe through the nose, right, we are working with the calming and, and re nerve repairing receptors of our body. The calming aspect, right? So it's easier for us to stay calm when we breathe it. 
when we're using the rest of our lungs because that's where the repair kit is. This is reserved for, like for example, if you remember being scared, right? All the breathing up here. When you're in fear, when, when you're on a crazy ride, fight or flight, all the breathing is up here. We want to start forcing it down into, into the repair and into the calming part of our nature, all right? And, and part of that is one, like I said, our, our tool, our, our shell, our body shows what we are, right? So actually, you can look around you. Look at how people are breathing around you. Is their chest moving? If you can see their chest moving, you already know you're dealing with somebody in a fight or flight mind state. <gasps> I remember, I remember years ago, man, we used to take some of the young people and we used to talk to them about breathing. And some of them couldn't breathe through their nose without choking. Because their whole life they have been taught to breathe through their mouth. Even when we lift them weights. <gasps> right? That's wrong. And you know, I hate to break it to y'all, but that's wrong. And I know y'all like, what this got to do with Kooji Chagalia? Well, how am I going to determine myself? If I'm automatically always in a fight or flight mind state, my body is reacting in the stress field, uh, uh, self-induced um, environment. You know, it's a self-induced state. When I could be a little bit calmer and think, how can I really be talking about self-determination when in fact my whole state of mind is being determined by how I'm breathing? How I'm improperly breathing. Family, stop being a mouth breather. Right? Stop being a mouth breather. We have to move to a whole nother level now. Right? Breath training is warrior training. And warrior training is breath training. Even when we're in combat. Even when we're in conflict. I could deal with you calmly. Right? That don't mean that we, you know, we can't get we, we, we can't get physical. But I could deal with you from a better state of mind. I could deal with you from a clear state of mind. Not the fight or flight. Right? Boom. I got two options there. Fight or run. But when I I open up the opportunities, it gives me the ability to choose. Give me the ability to define my reality. Okay, Coots Chagalia. The lower lobes of the low number two. The lower lobes of the lungs are also gravity fed and thus have more blood. Therefore, they have the ability to profuse more waste CO2 out the body. Now we're gonna talk about the importance of CO2. Alright? Because according to a lot of people, it's a waste gas, but we got to really talk about that. The reason we huff and puff during exercise is because we are not removing the CO2 as officially as we could be. Nose breathing maximizes this action. Now, that whole piece right there is brought into question, but it's still talking about proper breathing, right? Because the CO2 plays a more important role than just the waste gas. So we're going to talk about that, right? Because CO2 has to do with... Um, the, the pH level in your body as well and it uh, ha it helps with the releasing of the oxygen right so part of the issue with us is not only are we breathing breathing wrong but there's some scientific studies that say that we may be breathing too much and I know y'all like but I did what the hell did you just say I said there's a possibility that you are gluttonous on your air you breathing too much you greedy right just like with the food and sometimes the water and the pop and the Kool-Aid, your gluttonous. Sometimes you need to let your body become oxygen or as, 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 it, cause it's not really oxygen starved, right? It's just an automatic reaction to breathe out, to release the carbon dioxide. But, but sometimes we need to let the carbon dioxide settle because it's the carbon dioxide and the pH balance of our body that allows our blood to release oxygen into our muscles and stuff like that, right? So a lot of times we are staying over oxygenated and not allowing, not getting the full benefits of the oxygen 
because we are not breathing properly. We are, we're breathing too much, right? We're not giving our body time to do the process. We're not allowing it to be in balance. Oxygen, carbon dioxide, balance, right? Um, breathing into the lower lobes and the lower lobes of the lungs, massage and exercise the diaphragm. Check this out. At the base of the lungs, making us more efficient, deep breathers in the long run. So when we when we breathe through our nose, we we work the diaphragm, which works out and stretches out all this stuff inside of us, right? So it, uh, it the diaphragm at the base of the lungs make use of more deep, uh, more effect, efficient deep breathers. So it massages and exercises the diaphragm. It uses this muscle down here and helps pull and work. Not only in here we're gonna see what else it does. Freeing the diaphragm to contract and relax fully massages the stomach situation situated just below the diaphragm allowing more efficient stomach functions which can help in avoiding heartburn hiatal hernia like symptoms right so by us just breathing right we exercise not only the lungs but the diaphragm and the diaphragm stretches or my fault stretches down and it exercises and pushes the stomach which may help with some of the stomach ailments that we are having all right. Um, nose breathing, nasal breathing forces the entire rib cage. And we're gonna I'm gonna demonstrate the whole breath tomorrow. Um, deep nose breathing engages all twelve ribs to act as levers that massage the heart, the lungs, rather than acting as a cage that squeezes the heart and lungs. Twenty six thousand breaths a day. So now, not only does it works the stomach. It also stretches all 12 of these ribs, working the lungs as well as the heart, massaging. So now we are so perfect that even the breath that we take in is working for us. I mean, it's efficiency at a whole nother level, y'all. Right? Right? When we, we only work in this part. We only working up here. Now, Now you know that you're working out this hole. So even when you breathe it through your nose, you know that you're doing you're doing your warrior training, yo. All right. All right. Nose breathing and full rib cage activation acts as a pump to pull lymph fluid from the lower parts of the body up into the chest cavity and to and to the heart, supporting health of the active lymph lymphic flow. Now, this helps with the lymphic fluid, right? And these fluids, this, we're going to talk about the lymphic fluids. And we're going to have to eventually as, as we start getting better at this stuff, right? They, you, don't have a, you don't have a direct pump for that, right? And these fluids need to be moved, right? you got to move these fluids. And breathing right helps your body move these fluids, right? Because you know what happens when fluids sit still, right? What happens to water when it sits still for too long? It goes stale, right? It's not good. It has to move, right? So this gets that moving. Um, nose breathing and full rib cage activation is critical for optimal flexibility, elasticity of the spine, head, neck, and low back. So not only does it work the heart, the lungs, the stomach, right? It works the spine, the head, the neck, and the lower back. Now, Check this out. In ancient Chinese medicine, they say that when a person loses their flexibility in their spine, they start to decline or die. Right? Keep that flexibility. Let's move it because I'm a little bit over 30. Nose breathing exercises have been shown to increase the production of nitric oxide. It's nitric oxide, not nitrous. It's nitric oxide. Right? Nitric oxide is an important cellular signaling molecule in the body, which has a hand in many favorable physiological processes, including expanding blood vessels, increasing blood flow, and protecting the organs from damage. 
nitric oxide has been coined the Nobel Prize winning panacea molecule. Nitric oxide was not shown to be produced during mouth breathing exercises. So when you're doing, when you're breathing through your nose, and we're going to talk a little bit more about this, how to produce more nitric oxide, right? Now, some of y'all might have heard about this nitric oxide, right? Because that process of the nitric oxide is what is stimulated when they be giving you those uh, those uh, enhancement pills, right? Like, uh, I can't think of the name of it. Some of y'all know the name of it. Some of that stuff that they be giving those old men and stuff like that. I'm an old man, but I don't have to use none of that stuff, right? So it's like, uh, you know, the nitric oxide is what helps the blood flow for that, right? So you got to understand that, right? Some of y'all that's having problems with that. We got exercises to help you get, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all dealing with that impotence. Some of y'all dealing with that erectile dysfunction, right? Just by you breathing right. You can change that whole thing. Ladies, some of y'all men is dealing with this just by y'all getting them to breathe right. Right? Just, just I mean, just think it was 21 days. I don't know what I'm saying. 21 days. You might see a little improvement. So imagine what's going to happen when we expand this and some of y'all doing the 21 week. Right? Well, check this out. Just with nose breathing. Right? So, and so we're going to talk a little bit about releasing this nitric oxide. Not going to the store and buying it, ladies and gentlemen. But getting it for free. Right? Nose breathing lower heart rate and breath rate compared to mouth breathing exercise. Nose breathing exercise increase alpha brain wave activity compared to mouth breathing exercise. Alpha brain waves are produced during relaxation or meditative states. Mouth breathing exercise produce a significant amount of beta brain waves that are associated with stress response. Nose breathing exercise increase brain wave. Coherence compared to mouth breathing exercise, brain wave coherence is associated with calm and organized brain function. Nose breathing exercise was perceived as less exertion. It was easier as compared to mouth breathing exercise according to the board scale of perceived exertion. Nose breathing exercise demonstrated shorter recovery times and better endurance to mouth breathing exercise. So just by breathing through the nose in all the right activities. We increase our endurance even in our workouts i know some of us are still struggling with that but we need to slow down and start moving and, and growing as we do our nose exercise so this me even when, when i start my running now i won't be focusing on doing all my breathing through my nose so when i'm working too hard and i got to move beyond breathing through my nose i'm gonna slow down until i'm able to catch my breath and i start you'll start noticing family listen i'm gonna stop it we're gonna talk about this later all right but i'm just telling you this is a powerful piece in your toolkit to self-mastery this is a powerful piece in you mastering your shell and being able to get this body to serve you right stop mouth breathing i mean i'm just telling you right now because they have even they have even found that i'm a, maybe they'll say it again um Nose breathing exercise demonstrated shorter recovery. Nose breathing exercise measure a significant reduction in galvic, galvanic skin stress response. Nose breathing exercise reported 50% less fight or flight stress and 50% more calm parasympathetic at, um, activation. That's it. So, when you're using your nose to breathe, you are improving your health. You're improving your power. You're improving your self-control. You're moving closer to self-mastery. Right? Now. Now. Also, so tomorrow, we're going to talk about the whole breath. I'm going to teach y'all how to do the, what they call the yogi breath. Right? Where we do the whole breath type piece. And then, um, maybe later on, we'll talk about nitric oxide and how to release that. But y'all got to stay up with me. Alright? So. I just wanted to share that with you, 15% benefits of breathing through the nose. Just this right here, if nothing else. If you don't do anything else, you have to do the breathing exercise with the uh, Guza Sour Challenge. I ain't going to say what you have to do, but to get the full effect, you need to do the breathing exercise. Don't be a mouth breather, yo. 
You know what I'm saying? Don't be a mouth breather. That's that's our new thing, right? Are you a mouth breather? You know what I'm saying? Because you can't be a warrior if you're a mouth breather. So this brother, I tell him, you know what I'm saying? Take the Ngusasapa challenge. Don't be a mouth breather. Let's keep moving. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to start the whole video right Don't be a mouth breather. All right, peace. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there. Peace.